Good afternoon, and we have today um, Carlo Sarvi, game producer at uh, Calypso Media with me here. Um, Calypso works on uh, a lot of uh, strategy games, mainly, right? Yeah, um, well, uh, strategy games, managerial, ma managerial uh, games, uh, uh, so uh, city builders, uh, uh, but, uh, yes, uh, strategy games are our core uh, portfolio games. Right, so famous titles such as Tropico, Sudden Strike, or Dungeons. Dungeons. Oh, right, yeah. cool. So, uh, can you tell me a little bit of uh, your team? So, is there a localization team per se at Calypso? Well, uh, Calypso uh, didn't have a, a localization team and now has one person, which is me. <laughs> Um, so we can speak of a team. No. Uh, there is one person show uh, that uh, is uh, taking care of everything. Um, still, uh, it's um, a small, uh, medium sized publisher, so it's understandable that uh, uh, one person takes care of everything. Uh, from the for the localization, and that's what I'm doing. Right, because you don't have so much resources as, as, as bigger publishers. Um, not many resources, but also the amount of uh, work in the end is uh, high, of course, uh, but not uh, as high as uh, maybe a, a big uh, publisher like EA that have uh, uh, several titles every year. Uh, right. So in that case, uh, uh, of course, you need uh, an actual team. Yes. In uh, our case, uh, we have one, two titles per year, oh, maybe right. three, when uh, we are, uh, depends on the year, but uh, uh, it's manageable, let's say. So. Cool. Um, uh, what are the what are the uh, your your main uh, audiences, main countries or languages that you aim at? So for the moment, the uh, uh, territories are uh, Europe, uh, including Russia. Um, Sometimes, depending on the project of, or the game, uh, Poland uh, as well, uh, or the Czech uh, Republic uh, in East uh, Europe, um, in uh, uh, Central Europe uh, or North Europe, uh, it's the main languages, ethics, uh, you, uh, and uh, sometimes uh, um, depending uh, on really on the project. Uh, for example, we published uh, a DLC for uh, uh, Southern Strike 4. Uh, which is the Finland DLC, and uh, in that case, uh, uh, we decided to have a localization also in Finnish. Right. Uh, but it was because it's because about it Finland. Was, it was about Finland. Uh, normally, uh, the core languages are ethics and Russian. Is there a country uh, you're going you're going to next? Not sure. I'm thinking about uh, having a Portuguese. Uh, if uh, the difference between the Brazilian and the European Portuguese. Uh, is not uh, that uh, substantial, uh, maybe in the same way that could be Spanish and uh, uh, Mexican. Uh, it's, uh, I know that it's different, but uh, in the end it's like British and American. Yeah, uh, so, so they kind of they can, can understand, understand each yeah. other. Right. Uh, so that could be an interesting territory. Um, for Asia we also have distribution. Uh, but uh, the Asian languages are uh, not really on my plate, uh, not that much at least, uh, because uh, our distribution partners are taking care of those. Understood. Um, you are a game producer most of the time, but you also handle localization, so that's yeah. a lot of stress, I would imagine. So how do you personally manage to manage that stress? Do you have um, any tricks to share? Not really tricks. Uh, I just uh, keep the pressure as low as possible. How do you, uh, how do, you do that? Uh, do you meditate try, or something? Uh, well, uh, there are uh, things that uh, are stressful, but uh, are... Uh, um, how to say um, small things that uh, should not stress you out like uh, oh I did this uh, but uh, is it correct is it not uh, what would my boss say uh, uh, so you know this kind of uh, mental uh, loops that mental uh, conversations uh, with yourself that you right cre uh, sometimes create with yourself yeah um, I try to keep them out of my shut them up uh, that's uh, for sure one of the most uh, stressful things that uh, any one of us uh, experiences in their lives. And uh, once uh, you can uh, shut those up, uh, off, uh, the rest uh, comes uh, in a much better way.
Uh, but uh, of course, uh, we also have uh, just 24 hours, uh, yes. out of which uh, normally eight to ten are between uh, eating and uh, sleeping. Uh, yes. So uh, time is always a constraint, yes. and uh, um, for that, uh, uh, when you are in crunch time, uh, you need to do overtime and uh, do your best. Right. And finally, if you if you could share one piece of advice to a game producer who's thinking about entering new markets with their game, like an independent game developer, uh, what that would be regarding you know localization or international distribution or something. Um, as uh, from a producer standpoint, uh, rather than localization, I would, uh, I would uh, concentrate more on uh, functional QA. Uh, a product that is uh, that needs a release uh, um, before expanding to other markets and using localization as a, a factor. Uh, I would uh, uh, first uh, uh, go for English uh, and uh, make sure the actual game is fun and the quality of the functional is uh, top. Right. Then you can think about localization. Uh, right. Um, so. Uh, New markets, uh, uh, we explore the pretty much all the markets, uh, and we know that there are markets that are more uh, niche uh, and where video games are not still uh, that. Uh, Can you give one example? Uh, I don't know, probably Africa is uh, right. a market that uh, a potential market, but uh, we don't know for sure because I'm quite uh, I don't know what's the distribution or what the yeah. Uh, Social uh, influence of video games in that uh, period. Mm. So it could be that uh, yeah, an example was uh, India. Uh, India okay. was uh, video games were uh, uh, for uh, really a geeky product uh, and uh, for uh, a very uh, a small amount of uh, people. Uh, now they are getting bigger and it's becoming a bigger. So game. maybe a new market for you, right? Maybe a new market for who knows. Okay. Thanks for having us today, Carlo. Thank you guys for uh, having me. This was Carlo Sari of uh, Calypso Media at Gamescom. <laughs>